starting off with a Kubrick homage. Already very strong. What's up, Asylum Demon? I don't think my punches will hurt you. Nope. Alright, I'll come back later for you. Let's see how you handle a frying pan. Oh, pretty well. No, never mind. Spoke too soon. I'll see you around, buddy. Okay, that's on me. I thought it would jump back and forth, not continually forward. You wanna let me up? Oh no! I think I had too much! <laughs> well... I don't mean to be rude to the deceased, but that's what you get when you ask for too much cheese. That's gonna stick my big fork right in you. Were your parents related? Like before they were married? Christ conquer. Going straight for the Quebec family tree, I see. I was prepared for some stupid things to happen. But I didn't think that a pitchfork attempting suicide and failing because he doesn't have a neck would be like in the first hour. It's a good joke, don't get me wrong. It's just really stupid. It was silly of me not to assume that the haystack would turn out to be a robot. Doesn't everyone have that idea when they look at a haystack? I feel like it would be wrong of me not to acknowledge that I have to use this flower's boobs as a bounce pad. So this is me telling you that this is a real thing in this game. That you have to do to progress the story. I'm not gonna say that I'm too highbrow for this game. Uh, because I'm clearly not, and I remember an upcoming boss. But the fart music feels almost too juvenile. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Come on, put it on. Ah, hey, oh, so this is the direction that we're going with this joke. Classy. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is, but I find it rather delicious. Thank Some of these good. jokes may have aged I'd poorly. Like Yes, and I'll think you'll find Just a little. little I didn't used to subscribe to the idea that all water levels are bad. But the more water levels that I play and the more that I think about it, the more inclined I am to believe that idea. You fools. Nobody expects the drunk piss attack. The last game that I played that was so shamelessly immature was probably the fractured butthole. And... That's an achievement, to be able to compare to a South Park game. They put a lot of emphasis on his brass balls. Am I gonna hit them with the frying pan? Or is this gonna be stupider? Oh my god, that's way worse. That actually did, like, psychic damage to me. I hated that. I've heard of Rolling Stones before, but this is ridiculous. One, two, three, ten. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? I thought you said it was a fortune. You lose a fortune. <laughs> yep, all of that was for ten dollars. I'll tell you what. Remember to discuss your pay ahead of time so you don't get screwed over by bourgeoisie catfish. It affects millions every year. So this is the infamous Great Mighty Poo, an operatic ball of shit that you defeat by throwing toilet paper at. Just in case you were somehow worried that this game was starting to clean up its act. Sadly, I already used my Rolling Stone reference, and it worked better then as a double entendre. So that's how it feels, to be on your own with no direction home, like a complete unknown, like some sort of Bob Dylan song. Sorry little buddy, but I have to do this to progress the plot.
<laughs> this is gonna be interesting. No, don't take pleasure in it, Conker. Of all the things that I thought I would have to do in this game, I didn't think that having to incite a race war was one of those things. Guys, do you know what the password is? <laughs> Fidencia. Fidencia. No, 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 no. Fidencia. Fidelio? Huh? Wow, the writers really like Kubrick, huh? I figured that the gang war or peeing on rock monsters in a club would be the strangest part of this section. I wasn't expecting to have to help commit genocide for the mob. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, come on. I was so close. I was like one or two seconds away. That section probably should have been fun, and uh, instead was really annoying. Happy to be done with that Spy Kids 3 bullshit. This is not good. Mm, they put a lot of emphasis on his ass in that cutscene. Given the game's track record, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to bite his butt. I know you're not a vegetarian, Seems like Conker's style. Wow. Who could have guessed? You shouldn't have stolen the hive again. Now you shall feel the wrath of the poorly controlled turret sequence. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> hey, let me figure out these controls for a second. Oops. I don't think that's the kind of ride he had in mind. The Grim Reaper just gave me a shotgun. Let's go. This is like the opposite of that one Castlevania. I think it's Aria of Sorrow, where the Grim Reaper just shows up and takes all your upgrades away. I'm down with it. If anyone's gonna give me a gun, it might as well be the Reaper. Alright, I'm expecting a vampire in here. I'll be disappointed if there isn't one. Yeah. And it's Francis Ford Coppola Dracula, too. Exquisite taste rare. I didn't think that I'd be working with the vampire. But this... rocks. It's currently a better Castlevania game than the one that came out for the 64. A lot of these gimmick sections have been sort of annoying, but this one... This one I'm having fun with. I feel like there should have been more blood there, considering how much he drank. That's kind of underwhelming, honestly. Especially from a game that hasn't really held back from absurdity before. Oh, you're the Asylum Demon. I knocked you off the bridge. Which means that I'm back at the start of the game. Crazy to think of all the things that I've done when I, I just want to go home. Alright, it took a while to get you over here. So you stay here, and I'll be back. And now that I have this contact-sensitive prompt, I can shoot that TNT guy, who isn't over there anymore. So I gotta do that all again. Oh, we're doing a Saving Private Ryan thing now, huh? I really should just expect to see a parody of every big 90s movie somewhere here. Like, how long until we get a, a Pulp Fiction? Or Goodfellas, or The Matrix. Is it just a matter of time? Did I just start checking my watch? A lot of the parody recreations have been uh, pretty faithful, so what are the odds that we get the soldier picking up his arm? Yeah, there we go. It's too memorable of a moment not to show. The N64, famous for how well its shooters work. I'm sure that I'll love this level. Well, what do you know? I'm not quite dead. Thanks for that. Feel a bit strange, though. How do I look? Oh. You look great. Like you could run for Prime Minister in Canada. 
This is one of the only sections that I can imagine is definitely better on the Xbox remake. Because, uh, this is abysmal. All of the shooting stuff, not a fan. Doesn't control well. Well, I'm sure that this will control amazingly too, right? Oh my goodness, this is almost as bad as the shooting controls. I feel personally attacked by this game. A lot of the references in this game are late 80s or 90s, but The Exorcist is like... early 70s. I'm not mad, The Exorcist rocks, but... it is weird how all over the place some of them are. Between Resident Evil... And that little gauntlet right there. I'd be okay if I never played a game with a timed sequence running away from an explosion ever again. Oh. The windmill crushed the queen bee. That's sad. I bet I could pawn this crown off if I really needed money, though. I was kind of joking when I mentioned the Matrix earlier, but I should have known that they would actually commit to the bit. Alright, this mechanic is currently carrying my interest in this section. I mean, I just played Stranglehold, so y'all know that I love me some slow-mo John Woo dives. This is a good time. <laughs> I'm a millionaire, Barry! Hey, Barry! What are you looking at? Conquer, honey! Ugh. Oh. How did we miss that? I feel like he was right in our line of sight. Oh. Let me guess. Aliens? Yeah, alright. I'll kick the shit out of a xenomorph. And off you go. So long, day xenomorph. I, I should have known that it wouldn't die that easily. The game's locked up. <laughs> I don't believe it. What is this? Is this the testing department's day off or something? We're going fully meta, huh? This gives me an idea. I'll take it. Conker's Bad Fur Day is still early enough for it to be novel in video games. It's true what they say. The grass is always greener. And you don't really know what it is you have. Until it's gone. 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 Wow, that's a surprisingly downbeat ending. Kind of sobering. It, it, one last twist to keep me on my toes. Props, Conquer. It's a good ending. This game. I like a lot of it in concept, but in execution it's kind of a mess. There are a lot of times when the controls aren't great, and pair that with some absurd difficulty curves and... It's frustrating rather than fun. It's still weird and interesting enough that I finished it, but I don't see myself ever going through it again, unless it got a recent port or something that fixed some of the controls. And after a while, some of the humor starts to get a little... predictable. And it's just kind of annoying. It doesn't overstay its welcome, but towards the end it was verging on annoying. I still liked it though. Neat game.